my channel. Now that all my Easter videos are done, I decided to go back to my list of video ideas and just pick a random fun one. So today, I really have no reason for what I did. So I decided today to make some pancake inspired cupcakes and I actually put some baby pancakes on the top of these which made these so adorable. I'm so excited with the way that these turned out. This is what they look like. I think that these are so cute. I think that the three pancakes on top just make it. And honestly, I wanted to do maybe a real pancake recipe so that you guys would have that as well. But I just decided to do the frozen mini pancakes from the freezer aisle. It's that simple. You literally pop them in the microwave for like a minute and they're done. And I stacked three on top of each other and that was it. These are so good too. The cake is a maple leaf vanilla cake and then the icing is just a whipped buttercream icing with some buttermilk which is kind of different than what I usually do. And then I just topped it off with those three pancakes. I love these. They are kind of similar to the waffle ones that I did for my Stranger Things video which I will link down below. But I think that these are so different. There's a huge difference between pancakes and waffles and you guys know that. We all know that. So I really hope you guys like this video and I hope that you recreate these. These are so cute. Make them for any occasion, I promise. Whoever you make them for will love them. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos in the future. And if you want to learn how to make these pancake cupcakes, then please keep watching. So I'm just going to start off by adding one stick of butter and one cup of sugar to my stand mixer and mixing those together until completely combined. And then I'm just going to add in three egg yolks to that mixture and I'm just going to beat those until everything is incorporated and there's no sand-like texture to it. Then I'm just going to add in one teaspoon of my almond extract and this makes it taste so much like a pancake. It is crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna take out two different bowls and in one bowl, I'm gonna add a third cup of milk and a half a cup of maple syrup. You can use any milk you want. I used whole. And then I'm gonna just leave that on the side. And then my second bowl, I am going to mix together one cup of flour with a, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and just a pinch of salt. And I'm going to whisk those together until those are completely incorporated with one another. Now I'm just going to add in my flour mixture to my beginning butter and egg mixture, just half of it, and then I'm going to add in half of my milk and syrup mixture. And I'm just going to go back and forth with those two separate bowls until it's all completely incorporated and there's nothing left in those side bowls. Now I can go ahead and fill my cupcake pan with liners and then I'm going to add about two thirds way full with my batter. I'm going to pop that into the oven at 365 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And in the meantime, while that's baking, we can start our icing. I'm going to mix together a stick and a half of my butter with a fourth cup of buttermilk, which I never use, so this was crazy. And then I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla and three cups of powdered sugar. You can add a little bit more powdered sugar if you feel like your icing isn't setting up properly, but I thought three cups was enough with the thickness of that buttermilk. Then you can go ahead and swirl on your icing. I'm not gonna do my full piping technique. I'm just gonna do a little lower type of swirl so that there's room to add these pancakes. As you can see, I just literally stacked three pancakes on top of each other, didn't use anything to hold them together. I just put them together when they were hot and they kind of stuck together very nicely. And I'm just adding those to the middle of each of the cupcakes and they sit perfectly in the middle of this kind of lower piping technique that I did and then I'm just gonna add a square of real butter yes you heard me real butter to the top of these because what else would you put I'm not doing that fake fondant or anything we're doing the real stuff y'all and then on top of that I'm just gonna add some syrup and it's just gonna fall down the sides of it and look so cute and it's just perfect these are amazing y'all you have to make them they taste just like a pancake I promise you won't regret it it. 
that's all there is to these pancake cupcakes. These are so cute and so fun to make and just putting the three pancakes on top makes it so different than any cupcake that you would normally see. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you recreate these, you'll have to let me know. I'm trying to post twice a week. I have so many ideas. It's just a matter of how much time I have, but I have some really fun ideas coming up, so I promise you don't want to miss those. So subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget that all my ingredients are in the description box down below, and I really hope you guys come back for my next video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!